So I wanted to do a video about guitars. You can see all my guitars in the background here, but I wanted to talk about one in particular, and it's this. This is a 1980s Japanese Strat, Fender Strat. Fender, you see? Um, it's got some non-standard things on it. It's got a Seymour Duncan hot rails here at the bridge. It's got the Fender System 1 trem, which I think actually was standard in a lot of 80s Japanese strats. <clears throat> the locking nut here. And a coil tap. It's also got Shara strap locks. This is the S-Lock, the new S-Lock duo system I put on a couple of days ago. And it's also got a bunch of Ponzi stickers all over it from various phases I was going through. Um, but the reason I wanted to talk about this guitar is this was really the third guitar I ever owned and it's the first serious guitar I ever owned. I, I've been playing for about 27 years now. And the first guitar I bought was an Argos, I think it was an Encore or just some no name, I don't even recall. I only had it like a week, I had one pickup in it at the bridge and it was dreadful. And a friend of mine at the time ran a music shop and I was talking to him, so I bought a guitar and he said, what did you get? And I told him, he said, take it back, I'll do you an Encore Strat copy for the same price. And he did, so I returned that guitar, got the Strat copy and spent about a year or so playing with that. Then as I was getting a bit better at playing, I said I went to him and said, look, I want an actual Strat. Can you do me a deal? And he did. He bought back the Encore from me at the price he sold me it and gave me some discount on this. And I've had it ever since. I've been in three bands, done lots of gigs, some recording. And this guitar has been with me every step of the way. More or less every song I composed ever in those three bands done on this um, it served me very well I know the neck intimately but as you can probably see it's seen better days the pickup covers are grungy the trem is um, a bit nasty it's got these stupid stickers on it's gunk in the frets uh, pickup covers are filthy yeah, there's just it's not been taken care of and it's been neglected in a number of ways for quite a while. And the main reason it's been neglected is because I bought this. This is a Paul Reed Smith CE24, which I bought quite a while ago now. And it is amazing. It's an amazing guitar. I really love this guitar. Um, yeah, it does everything well. And it kind of supplanted the Strat for me. And back there also, more recent purchase of Gibson Les Paul. Which again is an amazing guitar. It's kind of a brutish guitar, but there we go. So those two guitars kind of, well the Paul Reed Smith really stopped me picking up my Fender very often. Which is a shame because it's been through a lot with me and it's a really nice guitar. It sounds good or it used to. Um, very playable. So it's been a bit neglected in terms of not being played and in terms of not being maintained. So I'm going to change that. So I'm going to give this a bit of a clean up. I'm going to restring it obviously. Clean everything up, take the stickers off, clean all the gunge out of everything. I've got some replacement pickup covers, got some replacement pots. Oh, covers for the pots. Um, stickers are coming off. It's going to get good lemon oil on the fretboard, everything. Pickup selector is bent. I'm going to probably replace that when I figure out how to get it off. I may just have to take a Dremel to that because it looks really bent. I'm going to replace all the screws. The screws are all a bit rusty, so I've got some nice black screws for that. And I'm going to give a good clean up, get the intonation right, get it set up, restrung, and start playing it more. And so that's what this video is. It's me committing to giving this guitar the TLC it deserves. 
and then I'll start playing with it more. So that was it really. I just wanted to talk about this guitar and what it means to me. It's been through a hell of a lot. I've dropped it. I've broken so many strings on it. I can't even remember. I've been playing it and then carrying it about stage, hanging off broken strings. It's been through all sorts of things with me and it's um, a big part of my life. It's not a guitar I'll ever get rid of. And it needs to be part of my life again. So once I've done the clean up, I'll probably come back and do another video showing it, showcasing it. <laughs> We'll